This video is going to be for setting up Lightburn on Shaboko machines. So we're going to start by pressing the Devices button and Create Manually. We're going to select uh, GRBL from the down list and we're going to put um, Serial and the name of our machine. We're just going to put Shaboko on ours. Um, and then measure the size of your machine. For the large ones it's going to be um, like 30 by 32 or so. But just make sure you measure this and put it in there. Uh, put in the top right for the origin, that's where it homes, and turn off Auto Homing and we're done. Uh, with that, so press net, uh, done and press OK. Um, and now we're going to go click on device settings up there and make sure the CNC machine is clicked. Uh, we're going to enable the Z axis. Uh, we're going to enable the dollar sign J jogging. Um, and we're going to enable the laser fire button. Um, and also make sure the S value max is 1000 and press OK. Now we're going to create a macro. So on the one of the empty macros, right click it and name it use laser. Uh, we're going to put on the things that we're going to, so when you start a machine, you're going to press this macro. For the first one, we're going to put dollar sign $30 equals to 1000. That's going to be our maximum laser power. And we're going to put dollar sign $32 equals 1, and that turns into laser mode. Uh, when you restart your shape, Oko is going to reset those. So you, that's what you're going to press when you first start your machine. All right, so I think that's all good. Now you have that lose laser mode button, and we can start. Okay, now that we've set up the light burn for the shape Oko, we're going to try uh, homing the machine. You're going to see that it's going to go over to the back right where we set the home position. You can see that it is just off the homing um, location. We can now tell it to move. So now zero zero is going to be in the top right. You can say to go to 1010 10 now. And it's going to go over 1010 10 from the zero position. You can see, let's see, zero zero, let's go back to zero zero. And it's going to be like right on that limit switch. Um, you can continuous jog if you want. So we can jog it. Uh, continuous jog is on. So we're going to continuous jog it over here. And you can see then it is at get position. It is at 12 and 16. So let's say we want to go to, let's say we want to go to 30. I think there in the X, it's about 30 is the longest we can go. And let's just go 30 Y. And so let's go there. And you can see it goes all the way to 30, 30. All right. So we normally recommend um, using current position, but if you did want to use absolute coordinates, the machine is all set up for absolute coordinates now. Get your Shapeoko laser upgrade bundle at jtechphotonics.com. Simply go scroll down to the Shapeoko laser bundles and choose between the Shapeoko 5, Shapeoko 4, and Pro, or Shapeoko 3. We have lasers up to 64 watts available for all of these machines. Check them out at jtechphotonics.com.